Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony Monique for those of you that are new here and today we have another wig review. This time I'm reviewing a wig from West Kiss. I don't believe I've ever reviewed anything from West Kiss on my channel and I don't even think I've ever purchased anything from them either. So West Kiss sent me over their Glueless 4x7 HD Lace Pre-Everything Wig. I love the lace size on this unit because the seven inches is about right here. So the lace doesn't come down as far as most lace front wigs, but it's still wider than your typical four by four or five by five closure wig. So basically it's four inches back and seven inches across. With this being a pre-everything wig, the question is, can you really wear this straight out the box? And the answer far as this unit is, yes you can now would i do it absolutely not um number one i do prefer to wash my units especially my curly units because i hate that uniform curl pattern i like to wet it down and see what the real curl pattern is once it dries so as you can see in the previous clips i went ahead and i co-washed the unit i combed it through with um, a wide tooth comb and then i did a little alterations to the hairline i did not pluck it anymore but i did pull out some hairs to create like a natural kind of hairline look or what I say like adult baby hairs. I did do um, the baby baby hairs on it but I'm not typically a baby hair type of girl. I do wear them from time to time depending on the look I'm going for but with this unit I did not want those big old swoops anything like that but as you can see in the previous clips the hair definitely waves up well when you're trying to create that baby hair look. So the wig was very easy to comb through once I weighed it down. I didn't get a lot of tangling, no snags or any of that. It did shed a little bit, but the amount of shedding is to be expected for a curly wig. Once the hair dried, the curl pattern turned into like a nice curly wave at the top with ringlets at the bottom. And the way to get those ringlets in curly hair is based on the type of brush you use. You can use like a Denman type brush or a ventilated brush and you can take it and brush it downwards. I've seen where some people actually take their finger and create ringlets at the bottom of the hair and that really gives it a more defined look. But for me, y'all, I'm simple. I'm easy breezy. I'm ready to go. I don't like to do a lot of work to my hair. I don't. I was simple styles easy style so with me I take my brush I comb it through I did add a little product on it I um, ended up using I think it's called TGIN thank God I'm natural I had some of that leave-in conditioner and I usually put that on my hair I seldom put that on the wigs but it's all that I had here so I say hey it won't hurt I also use my trusty Nairobi foam to help me set the hairline so let me go ahead and plop this bad baby on so we can see how it looks on your girl Okay, so here she is, and I do feel like the lace is a little light for my complexion. So what I'm going to do is put some of my pressed powder that I use for my, my makeup. I'm going to put this on the underside of the lace. I typically don't like um, using makeup on my lace, but that's all I have here. I normally use a lace tint spray, but I don't have it here, so I'm using the next best thing, which is makeup. I'm using my MAC Studio Fix. Okay, I think that is good enough. So, oh, got to put the strap back on. And guys, I do not wear caps underneath my wigs. I just don't like them. No real reason, just simply I don't like to. Okay, so let me t tighten up the strap. Y'all, and as we can see, it does come with a detachable lace band it comes with the it has three cones and it also has like an elastic neckline it doesn't have those 
to um hooks the strap in the hooks it doesn't have that which i don't like because it always gets tangled tangled up in the back of my hair and i just think these lay better on the back of the hair i don't think i mentioned but this unit you can choose your cap size so this is a small cap and um also the wig is 22 inches so here we go let me make sure I got my part in the middle because typically, baby, my part be crooked. It be crooked. So, let's see. I'm going to be looking to the side because looking in the viewfinder, honey, like I say, have my wig crooked. So, let me look in the mirror. Y'all, this is so pretty. And look at this natural hairline. So this hairline, it turned out so nice, guys. Instead of those big old baby hairs, it looks natural. Like if you had curly hair, that you probably could like brush out some little hair. So to me, the hairline looks very, very natural. And I didn't do any additional plucking. The curl pattern is really pretty. I haven't combed it. I haven't really did any fluffing. And you see how full this is, guys. I'm not 100% certain what the density is on this wig. But as you know, I'll link all the details for this wig in the, in the description box. But I think this is might be maybe like a 180. With curly hair, you don't need to get high density wigs. Because the curl pattern already makes the wig voluminous. What I can see the difference between this curly wig and the other ones that I have reviewed, I love how it's straight at the top. Every now and then I do want me a curly number where the curls start at the top, but I like this look because it kind of gives you a mixture between fun and chic. So that's what it's giving to me. So love it, love it, love it. The way I set this hair, I styled it for it to be away from my hairline. But this wig would also look dope if it was the hair was coming like forward like this. If you did it like that, you probably would have to cut like some light layers in it so it won't won't hang in your face. But because my face is so pretty, <laughs> I prefer to wear my hair um, off my face versus coming towards my face. So guys, I really don't have much to do to this wig. As you can see, it popped on. I didn't have to manipulate it um, no more than what I did when I originally set the wig. And to accommodate for the shorter lace width, what I did is I pulled some of my own hairs out, put some edge control on it, and created my own little waves and baby hairs on the side. The edge control that I use, I've been using for a while now, and I'm absolutely in love. I'm stuck. Is the gummy edge control, and you can get that from Amazon. I'll make sure I'll link that below as well. As I stated in previous videos, I am a hairstylist, and I've started using gummy on all of my clients. And of course, they have different hair textures, and it holds on everybody. So I think I'm just going to leave this wig as is. I'm not going to try any different styles with it. You guys know normally I love me a half up, half down. But I'm not going to do that. I think I want to keep it in the bust down middle. I'm not going to even switch the parting. I'm trying to decide if I want to fluff it out more. But mm, then again, I don't really want to disturb the curl pattern. So I don't know. But as you can see, this wig is fully glueless. I'm going to put my rat tail comb up under the lace. And show you look looky looky so completely glueless it's very snug I don't have any adhesive on it at all as you can see no adhesive it's very snug it's snug to my head it's not bulky in the back as far as like extra gapping and look it's not coming off so every time I do that in the video I'll be so dizzy afterwards oh Jesus but yeah, I am pleased. I am thoroughly pleased with this unit. And I know <laughs> I come on here with every wig and be like, I like it. Well, I do. I'm not lying. At this point, I need a storage unit for all these wigs I have. Because it's so hard for me to detach because I be in love with everything. This wig right here, I think, has become one of my new favorites. And mostly because it's so easy to just plop on and go. Like... Not much to do to it at all besides make sure your curl straight, which 
hey baby you can do that the night before so in the morning when you wake up hey my wig was set overnight all i gotta do is get up plop it on my head and go no lace glue no lace adhesive no curling nothing you good just get up and go so if you're interested in this wig all of the details will be in the description bar along with any other products that i use to create this look so I would like to thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and share this video. And if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. And like usual, babes, I want you to stay blessed and stay beautiful. Bye.